It was said when an American settled on the frontier, the first thing he did was plant a field. The German, he built a solid house. And in many cases, the homes German settlers built in Texas still stand today. Germans brought a sturdiness, a practicality, and a notable craftsmanship to Texas's built environment. They used the materials they found around them, timber, limestone, or even adobe. The first German Texans built strong log cabins where timber was available. Where it was scarce, they adopted a sort of half-timbered style called Fachwerk. These homes had exposed wood frames filled in with brick or stone and occasionally plastered over. It's probably the best known architectural style of early Germans in Texas, but it was used only until the Civil War. From then on, most settlers built rock houses. One historian called the Rock House one of German Texans' most original contributions to the cultural landscape of Texas. These solid homes came in a variety of sizes, from one story up to two and a half stories. And inside, the orderly two to four room homes often had stenciled decoration. On his journey through Texas in 1854, landscape architect Frederick Law Olmsted marveled at the German homes in New Braunfels, with their simple conveniences not found in many Anglo-Texan homes. I never in my life, except perhaps in Awakening from a Dream, met with such a sudden and complete transfer of associations. We were, in short, in Germany. Today, long after the era of early German settlement, their buildings remain. Houses, churches, octagonal Turnvereins, silent witnesses to the care and the discipline of their builders.